Hi, this is a loser film and Ezra Miller doesn't stop committing crimes. It's like he wants every bit about him in the news to be about how he's not a nice person and is going around committing every crime possible everywhere in the world because it just doesn't stop. And I'm sure Warner Bros Discovery do not like it seeing Ezra Miller constantly in the news and being in the news for not all that good things. Actually, it makes Warner Bros Discovery look so bad. They might have no choice but to axe the Flash movie, which should have been axed a while ago. I don't know why it's still active and it's still being planned to come out. Because Ezra Miller's latest criminal activity was actually a few months ago, but it's only actually come out now because he committed robbery. And because the police couldn't find him, because it's hard to locate Ezra Miller considering he's on the run everywhere in the world, it's only come out now and he's been charged with it. So now he's been done for a felony and he's probably going to get some kind of sentence, which means if I was Warner Bros. Discovery, I would cut the cord as quickly as possible because... Ezra Miller's not defendable. There's no longer you can sit there and be quiet, especially now he's been actually charged with a criminal offence. And if I was Warner Bros. Discovery, not only would I axe the Flash movie completely, but I would come out and publicly not only denounce Ezra Miller as the Flash, but cut the cord completely and say you don't condone any of his behaviour that he has committed. But they appreciate the hard work everyone worked on the Flash movie. It's just a moral thing at the end of the day. Otherwise, Warner Bros. Discovery's reputation is not only going to be forever damaged, but people will not see other projects because people don't like it when a company throws morals out the window and support disgusting human beings like Ezra Miller who have done such in a defensible things like abduct children, commit robbery clearly, have a sex cult apparently, of course all this is technically alleged, but he's doing all this not to mention assaulting women. It's not exactly a good look for any studio to assign themselves with a person like this. So David says, like, get to it before it just gets worse and it continues to dig that big hole that it currently is digging for Warner Bros. Discovery. So I'd love to hear your comments below of what you think about Ezra Miller keeping the criminal activity up with the latest offence that has come out being that he's committed robbery and how Warner Bros. Discovery needs to hurry up and cut the cord because they're the ones looking worse and worse and only hurting themselves in the long run if they were to release the Flash movie and not just throw it in the trash like the Batgirl movie. Also be sure to click that subscribe button, give this video a like and click that notification bell to support this channel. Thank you for watching and it's goodbye from me for now.